Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy CJ here. I uh, just wanted to show you guys this uh, new Pioneer unit we put in this vehicle. Tahoe Hybrid. I think it's about an 09 model. Um, just wanted to give you guys a quick little review of it. Uh, the interface, the settings, everything like that. Um, brief little thing about me. I used to be a Pioneer person. I stopped selling Pioneer, I'm going to say, probably four years ago. Uh, as, as I'm sure a lot of us dealers stopped selling it for reasons, other reasons that, yeah. But long story short, uh, this customer originally had a 2300 NEX I put in the vehicle probably like about four years ago when I was selling it. It went up on them. Um, and now... So that went up on him. Then I put a AX3200, the Sony one in there. And he just didn't like it. I'm not, I don't have nothing against Sony. I sell a whole lot of Sony, but the Sony just, anybody that owns a Sony, you know, it's just plain as hell. Like it's plain as hell. Um, So I had to sell him a AX3200 because that's all we had. We couldn't get any Pioneer. We finally got some Pioneer in and he's back to get that switched out and exchange it for this one um so this is the 3200 i mean this is the 4600 nex model um like i said i dropped pioneer a couple years ago but when everything was going on well, it's still going on about to say a couple months ago we couldn't get any radios so i had the opportunity to get a wt76 nex that's that big nine inch tablet screen type floating display pioneer radio and man, I love that thing. So, um, I got the opportunity to get some more Pioneer. And them things is about to be gone again. So, I'll show you guys what we got in a little bit. But this is the new Pioneer interface. I don't know if a lot of you guys remember the old Pioneer interface. We had like the little icons here, the little uh, boxes here. Stuff was slow as I don't know what. Um, so, the new one. This, this unit is equipped with wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. Um, it has Alexa, uh, Sirius XM. Uh, that's another thing with this one. With his Sony, he couldn't see the album art and stuff or like the channel art for the XM. So it's like, he just, he wanted to get all that back. So let me uh, slide over and get the whole menu. Here's his XM station. A Pandora approved track. Turn this up. Damn, millions of listeners. Turn this down. This is XM stations. Uh, of course, he got the Almart back. All that. Um, what else? Let me slide back over. This car AV assist. Um, that's another new feature that I like about these Pioneers. Uh, I don't know if people remember back in the day, man. They had the app radio mode, all that stuff. Like, man, Pioneer and came a long way. Um, with the car AV assist, you can download updates for the actual radio through the app. You download the app on your phone. Um, if you want to change the wallpaper or anything like that, you can do all that through the uh, through the uh, through the app. Just connect to it. You can uh, do a custom home screen if you want to move the icons around. All that stuff you can do all that. Firmware updates for the radios. If you want to add a uh, like your favorite sports teams, uh, we're in Baltimore, so. It don't have to be the Ravens and the Orioles, but that's what I have. So Ravens and the Orioles, uh, browser favorites. You can add like, uh, like I got YouTube on here and I have my website. There's one you can add another website. Uh, so let's see, that's the WT76 NEX that we did. So you can add multiple radio. I think you can add three of them all together. Um, the radio also has Wi-Fi, so you can work with Alexa, sports teams. Um, let me go to sports real quick. Look at that. Orioles are playing spring training right now. Bottom of the second. Giving you the update. Tell you what station you can listen to it on, man. This thing is, yeah, I like it. I just got to get me a vehicle I can put this up in. Um, get the weather, the browser. And have it loads up. There it is. YouTube. Got YouTube on here. Um, a little mobile version. And look at it. It stays on the little main screen. So, like, yeah, it's like, man, this, this thing is slick. 
<laughs> all the stuff my daughter watch. Um, Alexa, Amazon Alexa. Um, uh, you got your regular radio, your regular Bluetooth audio, your iPod, Apple CarPlay. On the back of this unit, it has an HDMI. So if, let's say you got an Android. Um, you can do like a mini HDMI to a USB-C and it'll mirror the screen. We already did the XM uh, camera view. I don't think I had this one hooked up to the... I can put it in, I can put it in reverse in the account. Uh, AUX, which I don't know about even use AUX anymore. But AUX, um, what else? These features right here uh, are for Maestro. If you use a Maestro RR or RR2, that's what you would use that for. It'll show like gauges, heat, all the other stuff, tire pressure, everything else. Um, just go on the settings. So it's your Wi-Fi connection. You can either hit hotspot. Uh, well, that's how you uh, work it, turn it on. Be your hotspot settings or your easy setup if you got WPS on your router. Um, what else? Yeah, wireless settings for your smartphone, driving position left, Bluetooth settings, and the connection for the Bluetooth. Video signal settings. Um, you got your aux, back of camera auto. Sound settings, your loudness, source adjuster. Uh, like if you got a different source, you want one source louder than the other. Speaker level, listening position off, time alignment. Graphic EQ, subwoofer crossovers, dynamic bass enhancers, uh, mute level, subwoofer settings, uh, which are crossover settings, all that stuff. Uh, still got your background, you can change different colors. I try to make it the same color as the vehicle, like the buttons in here. Um, got your little live wallpapers. Um, what else? Clock home custom settings if you want to add or take away icons you can do that uh, oops. what else uh av source settings radio series xm bluetooth beep tone the beep you keep in amazon alexa settings input output like uh for usb a lot of this stuff is for like an Android, that USB MTP. Camera settings, demo mode on and off, language, picture adjustment, system information. Pretty much the basic Pioneer settings that you usually get. Um, but man, the thing I say about this interface, so look, I got text messages. <laughs> These are my cousins in the group sending, us, sending messages and all of the... Uh, Oops, God damn it. I don't know that to come up. But all of the messages and stuff uh, not the messages but it just notify you like hey such and such text and all that. Um what else? Uh let me see. Let's look at the weather. Weather, weather channel weather. This thing is nice, man. You got your demo. Turn it on and off. Right now, this is what my Wi-Fi is connected to. Uh, maybe like if somebody is riding. So it's like you might be thinking like, well, how you do it while you driving? So you turn your hotspot on while you in the car. Connect to the radio. That way you'll have uh, all your other settings. Uh, what else? Let me slide over here. Display off. Oops, nope. Source off. Uh, this unit also does not have a CD player like pretty much everything else now. Uh, let's go in here real quick. Let's see how this looks. Do you understand? <laughs> and that's how YouTube would put. This thing is nice, man. And it's like, I gotta keep these type of stereos in stock for like my techie type 
customers versus like I got other customers that might be older. They don't care about all this fancy stuff. I would usually keep. I think when I dropped Pioneer, I bought Kenwood. But man, I'm damn Kenwood was having problems left and right. So yeah, I kind of love that one. So it's your radio, ninety Q here in Baltimore. And man, like I said, man, this thing, it's a beautiful unit, man. I love it. Definitely got to get me a, a... It even has RDS to show you um, what's playing on the radio. This damn button over here getting my damn nerves. Yeah, it's playing with the showing you the album art for what's playing on the radio right now. This thing is nice, though. I love it. So that's pretty much it, man. Um, I'm gonna be back in a little bit to show you guys uh, the '76 NEX. Any questions about this unit? Let me know. I think it retails for. Anywhere from, I think it's, no, I think the MSRP on this unit is $849, $850, so. Yeah, it's a beautiful unit. Like, subscribe, any questions, let us know.